Happy Sunday. Today is part two of how to eat right for your hormones. We spoke about this last week and a lot of you have been asking me a lot of questions about, okay, how can I implement this? So I really wanted to hop on here and just talk about how we can say goodbye to PMS and hormonal imbalances. And I really want to go into the how. So how can you set up your month um, so that you're eating in sync with your hormones rather than out of sync. Because when we eat the right foods for what our body needs for specific phases of the month, we can finally go month to month without thinking that, okay, well, getting our period is the most miserable thing and typically the worst time of the month. And there's times throughout the month where we think we have to suffer, whether that's with uh, massive headaches, extreme bloating, painful cramps, skin breakouts, irritable waves of emotions. Um, I know that was me at one point. Um, so if you have any sort of hormonal imbalances, PCOS, fibroids, endometriosis, you name it, sinking your nutrition and your exercise is key. And we already spoke about the exercise part. So I really wanna dive into the nutrition side of things and I don't really want to overwhelm you with tons of info. So I'm going to break this down very simply. Um, and, you know, I will probably have several of these chats because there's so much to cover in just one shot. So I just want to be able to share something that you can go and so that you can start applying it. So to keep things really simple, we're just going to focus on the first half and the second half of your cycle. So you have four phases of your cycle. The first half is our follicular and our ovulation phase. So during this half, we want to eat more light and vibrant and fresh foods. Um, think of salads, smoothies, pressed salads like kimchi or sauerkraut, lots of vegetables during this time. Uh, lean proteins and even some beans and some seeds are good during this phase. So you'll actually feel lighter and more energized during this phase as well. Our body, um, body's metabolism slows down a little bit. Um, and you're also more inclined to be more social um, during this phase. And then we have our second half of our cycle, which is our luteal and our menstruation phase. So in the phase, in this phase, you want foods that are rich in B vitamins, calcium, magnesium, and fiber. So these are huge. These make a huge difference. So if you focus on implementing these types of foods, B vitamin rich foods are really, really good for fighting off cravings. Um, then you have the calcium and the magnesium combo, which is really great for helping with water retention that we typically experience during this phase. And the fiber with all the vegetables is critical for helping you know, our body flush out liver and our large intestine, which plays a vital role um, when it comes to our bloating and our irritability um, and our moods. So during this phase, complex carbs are your friend. You do not want to be giving up carbs in this phase um, because that really helps with mood swings and also may, making sure that your serotonin and your dopamine levels are at bay. So lastly, when you are in your... Uh, uh, menstruation phase, you know, adding in seafood and sea-based veggies will help remineralize your body with um, a lot of the nutrients that are depleted during this phase, which is zinc and iron. So adding in some nori or some miso soup is a really good plus. I know personally, I've actually noticed a big difference when I add this in during this time. Um, and it gets rid of my cramps and all that too, so it's awesome. So why is it important to eat right for your hormones? Our body needs certain vitamins and minerals during specific times of the month. It is always changing. The female body works on a 28 day clock. So our body is always needing different things. And when we start to give it what it needs, we can then start optimizing our health and our hormones to feel our very best without all the ebbs and flows. Because if we're, if our body is craving certain nutrients, then if we give it to them, we won't have to deal with all the PMS and the hormonal imbalances that we're experiencing. So I hope this was helpful. I hope it was a good start to get you, you know, into the habit of starting to incorporate foods. Um, 
And I hope that you're able to start adding these in and rebalancing your hormones, getting rid of the PMS and getting back to feeling yourself. You know, when you start following a plan that has your hormones at the forefront, you can burn fat, you can fire up your metabolism, you could be, you know, high energy, confident. You just feel good. Um, so tomorrow, join me as I'm starting to give away tons of free value packed ebooks since i'm away on vacation i figured why not give away free stuff so i hope you like it can't wait to see you then and enjoy and have a nice sunday bye